What is up guys, so before diving into the updating stuff, so I found a little problem to our software because if we are adding a bunch of products then we don't know the codes. So first I open the program and I'm going to add something but I don't know the code that I left in so that I won't be able to stick these stickers in the product with that particular code. So we are going to display that code in the topper somewhere so that there won't be any problem in adding the products as we have already added two or three products we cannot just simply restart the same process so for that we are going to do uh, what we are going to do is whenever the program is run we are going to check for you know uh, c dot sorry execute and uh, we will write the command here which is uh, select max id from our table is uh, inventory select max id from inventory okay we'll say result equals to for our result sorry it's not from for our in result and then we would say the id are zero and uh, below the header I think we have to add uh, something a label called I label and we uh, inside our master with text is going to be ID has reached up to and we will say plus a string self it's not self ID now ID is global so we don't need to worry font equals to Arial 18 bold self dot I dot less X is a 0 Y is 40 let's try this but so there's no error okay there is error no such function MA yes it's max actually to get the maximum value of the ID okay text is not defined okay there are many typos guys I hope you wouldn't do those mistakes um, yes ID has reached up to three so now this product whatever we're going to add is going to have the ID of four so for like uh, let's see what we can do to make it more safe we can do okay instead of adding it to the label what we can do is uh, add it to the text box so that it will be kind of like good I guess so insert okay I think too many brackets okay zero sorry that's for deleting and we will say uh, ID has reached up to up to and we'll say string of ID let's see if it works or not okay ID has reached up to three and the ID is number four so if we don't uh, if we don't want to make a mistake what we can do over here is we can add another field called uh, you know self dot I, I, uh, sorry ID e, which is going to be entry we're not going to use its value anywhere except for in the you know uh, updating the logs in the uh, text box so that there's no mistake and uh, Font equals to Arial 18 bold self dot id underscore e dot place x equals to okay 380 and uh, y equals to 370. So we need to give the label self dot i. We are going to copy this not the vendor it is IDL and uh, we are going to paste enter so we are going to prompt uh, the user with the operator to enter the ID although it does not uh, 
go into the database because the database will auto increment but for the safety of knowing things so okay 320 is 370 I think the button needs to be pushed a bit down 370 we need uh, 420 420 and ID has reached up to string ID ID E and we are going to add the ID E value here add it into the database yeah with the code uh, you might remember from the previous video why I tried to do that so we, uh, it's not self uh, yeah it is self string dot self dot ide dot get so there won't be any mistakes so what I meant to uh, do was okay as you can see ID has reached up to number three so we will add a new product called pen I have 100 pieces of pen it cost me uh, let's say 5 rupees I'm selling it in 10 rupees vendor name is uh, XYZ and the vendor phone number is 99998 it doesn't matter and the ID is number 4 although the ID does not matter and we're going to press enter as you can see inserted pin into the database with code 4 we are going to clear all now we have to add code 5 now that we know we have to add code 5 so we're going to make a little bit of corrections over here, like insert it into the database. Successfully, we'll say, I uh, insert it into a new line so that we won't be clusterous. Uh, we'll give it two new lines. And we're also going to clear self.id uh, underscore e dot delete zero and end. Okay, I think now it's done. So as you can see, we'll add a uh, okay wallets. I have uh, 20 wallets. Cost me 100 rupees. I'm selling it in 120. Vendor name is uh, BBB. Vendor phone number is 777777. As we as we can see, his uh, ID has reached up to number four. So I need to insert number five. Add to the database. Successfully added. It says insert wallets in the database with code five. Everything is clear. Now we know that we need to add the product in ID6. So that will make very easy to operate it in real life. So let's first uh, check into the database whether it is going into the database or not. So, yes. Next time we run the code, it will say 5 because the max value of ID is 5. So let's run this and it will say ID has reached up to number 5. So th this is like, uh, you know, trying to not make any mistakes while adding to the database so that's the trick guys so thanks for watching in the other video i will teach you how you can update the database so that uh, there will be other mistakes as well so thanks for watching subscribe to my channel